Welcome to How It Works, a video series from Law Sites and Law Next, in which you get to see hands-on demonstrations of legal tech products directly from the developer. In today's episode, we'll look at the legal research platform VLEX, and specifically at its just-released collection of antitrust materials from the American Bar Association. Joining me today to tell us about the new collection and show us how it works are Tom Atkinson, head of business for North America, and Robin Chesterman, global head of product. Tom and Robin, welcome to the show. And Tom, why don't you start off by telling us about VLEX and about this new collection? Uh, thank you so much, Bob, and, and thank you so much for having us. We really appreciate it. Um, we, we're really excited to be partnering with the ABA's antitrust law section to help create an exclusive digital library of their books, which will sit alongside other primary and secondary materials from all over the world. And, and that's what we're here to show today. Um, as a quick overview of VLEX and, and who we are, we're a legal publisher of over 30 years, and, and we provide legal information from over 100 different jurisdictions to organizations globally and, and the legal information covers both common and civil law jurisdictions all on a single platform but we're really starting to grow our secondary source materials in North America and 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 showing relationships between these secondary source materials and 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 the other materials that are on that platform so the the antitrust library will be a collection of over 60 books uh, and it will be transformed into um, an enriched and integrated research experience. We'll create direct and indirect connections between all the legal materials we have on VLEX to, to try and deliver quick and powerful insights to the users that are using it. Now, as the US is very strong on its antitrust laws and with it being the go-to jurisdiction for antitrust behavior, the digitization of these materials really provides the opportunity to help expand the use of the antitrust materials and not just in the US but but globally as well. So with that we will go into the platform and see what these books look like on VLEX and, and how users can can access it. Great let's dive in and see how it looks. Okay, so this is the homepage of VLEX, and, and we've created some really quick and, and easy ways for users to get access to, to, to this antitrust content. And the browse function is, is the key way that we've, that we've developed to do this. So if I was to click on browse, I get all the, the list of um, sort of legal materials in the US. If I click books and journals and go to the ABA antitrust library here, I come through to what is a compilation view of, of all the books that are part of this collection and part of this library. So you'll see all the sort of uh, small pictures of the, the, the sort of title pages and a bit of information around each of the book. Uh, they're ordered by most recent, so the most recent ones um, that have been published, um, but we can change that into alphabetical or providing the oldest book if we, if we needed to. But this gives a very quick and easy way for users to scroll down through all the list of titles that are available um, through this digitized version on VLEX. If someone has a specific book that they're looking to get access to, they can use this text box filter and they can enter in, let's just say I want to go and see a particular handbook. I can enter it in the text box and, and up comes the result for me, the Antitrust Class Actions Handbook. So they can click on the title and it will come through to the overview page, which is here. Now, on this page, we on the left hand side, we get the front cover of the book. We get all materials around this particular um, edition of the book as well, and, and the logo of the ABA because it's their material. We'll also have mark records that will be on here once they're published as well for organizations that want to catalog this information internally. But in the middle of the page, you get a list of the table of contents, which is essentially the chapters of the book that are all hyperlinked. So if I went into a particular chapter of the book, I will come to a page like this. Um, and this is essentially showing us um, this particular chapter on international mass actions and class actions um, in Australia. Um, and uh, what are the key differences between the competition regimes of Australia and the United States? And I can very quickly scroll through and start reading the, the, the particular chapter of the book. It looks like you're preserving the print formatting in the way that you're presenting these. We are indeed, and that's a key part of, of, of what we want to do. So it still feels like you're reading the, 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 the book itself. We do actually have the physical PDFs that you can 
download and print um, from the platform as well. We, we allow that by chapter level only, um, but you, you do get the exact PDFs, um, replicas of the book as well at mm -hmm. the same time. On this page, one of the things that we start to allow users to do is to start to highlight and annotate areas of this book. So if they're using this and they want to make some notes because this is of interest to them in their research, they can either click highlight and highlighted it, or they can click note and um, they can write an example, save that note, uh, and it will appear down in the left-hand side on the screen. And they can clear it nice and easily if they want to, but it really allows for annotation really, really easily. Just above that highlight, you'll see all the chapters that we saw before. And this layout of the chapters are all hyperlinked. So it makes it really easy to go to different parts of the book really very quickly uh, on that left-hand side. Is that note sticky to the publication or is there a way where I can see all of the notes I've added to different publications? Uh, the note is specific to this chapter in the book um, okay. when you're in this chapter. One of the key things that we start to do here is, is we analyze all the information within this chapter and, and we start to create a list of cited authorities. And this is where the sort of multi-jurisdictional element of VLEX comes to the forefront here. So we're in a chapter regarding um, Australia and, and the United States. So we're going to have cited authorities from Australia, the United States, and potentially other jurisdictions. And this is what you'll see in this list of cited authorities. So we have Australian cases. There's a US case here. Um, if I scroll down, there's a UK case here as well. What we very easily allow the user to do is to click on this link of this case, of this Australian case. We can open it up in a new browser and immediately get taken to the full text of that case. And it will work in the reverse. If someone is looking at this particular case and is looking where it's been cited, we will show that user in Australia that it's been cited in an antitrust book and they'll be able to go from the case to the book very quickly on the platform as well. So it's all about ease of use and, and going between these materials as quickly as possible. As part of this cited authority list, you'll see some icons and some text here. The three um, shows that there are three references to this citation in the chapter. The cited in column tells us that this particular case has been cited in 11 other legal documents um, that are on the platform. And then we have the strength indicator, which takes into consideration the number of references and how many times it's been cited. But the strength indicator also looks at the general relevance of the document and the issues discussed. So it then brings together all these three metrics to create a strength indicator for the end user. And ideally, the higher the strength indicator, the higher up in the, the results of cited authorities that we want to show. Now, the next part of the sort of overview of these books is, is related, Vincent, and this is regarding, and this is all linked to Vincent, our AI tool and the technology that we use to enrich this collection. Um, and so with that, I'm going to pass it over to, to Robin to, to talk through. Great. Thanks, Tom. And uh, Robin, tell us about Vincent. Okay, uh, thanks, Tom. Um, yeah, one of the things that we're really proud of at VLEX is our legal intelligence technology, kind of the, the intelligence layer that we put on top of all the content that we ingest into the VLEX platform. We like to think that we're not just a, a document delivery service, but we do a, a huge amount more with the content as it comes on VLEX to help people navigate and understand it. As Tom showed you, we, we were extracting out all of the citations to the, to the primary and secondary sources. But we do other things like extracting key topics and, and understanding the semantics of, of the documents. And a lot of that is in service of our um, AI tool, Vincent. Vincent is available in this tab up here. And Vincent is really, um, it's an assistant that uses AI to make recommendations about relevant documents. So if I'm looking at a particular document, Vincent can suggest other things that could be relevant to my research. And so what's happened here is Vincent has was looking at that chapter of the antitrust book that we were we were reading and has examined the text in it, examined all the, the references in it, and is now making recommendations of other materials that could be relevant to my research. Vincent can recommend case law, legislation, other books and journals, blogs or expert commentary that we have on the platform and use all kinds of different things. And um, very excitingly, we recently added Vincent for multiple jurisdictions. So we can actually make cross jurisdictional recommendations about content uh, based on the document that you're looking at. Robin, how is it making those recommendations? What's it basing that on? 
Vincent has three main strategies that it's using to make recommendations. The first one is a kind of citation analysis or a graph analysis where it's looking at the citations to authorities in the document and then it's looking at the network that those citations have with other cases and other other authorities on the platform and then it's making a recommendations of things that might be cited often with things that are cited in your document. So there's graph analysis is one strategy. Another one is, um, it's kind of the magic sauce of Vincent, which is the semantic analysis, is where it's really looking at the, um, the text and then finding other documents that have kind of vectorized similar representations of the text. That's where it gets uh, most clever. And then the third strategy is where it's extracted key topics out of the document, and then it's running searches behind the scenes to find other documents that match searches for those topics. One of the uh, uh, one of the great things about Vincent is that it's making recommendations in both directions. So in this example, we were looking at an antitrust book, and we can see recommendations of case law, legislation, and other books. But if we were looking at a case or a, a, new, a statute piece of legislation, and I hit the Vincent tab, it can make a recommendation of a book that maybe I didn't even know anything about. Maybe I didn't know it existed, but it can give me this antitrust material and let me know that there's content on VLEX that could be highly relevant to the job that I'm trying to do. This is available on the VLEX web platform itself, but one of the things that we like to do, we have a, we have a suite of um, tools that exist outside the platform, and one of them is a plugin for Microsoft Word. I'll just show that very quickly because Vincent exists in Word as well. Um, I could be writing a document in Word, and in the VLEX tab here, I've got find citations, which would find citations in the document, but Vincent is present in Word, and by hitting the Vincent tab, it will come up on the right-hand side and can make recommendations of material on VLEX that could be relevant to the document that I'm either reading or writing within Microsoft Word. Useful. Good. Tom and Robert, thanks for demonstrating that today. Uh, I know this was just rolled out at the Antitrust Law Conference of the American Bar Association. Um, for others who are interested, what what do you want to tell them? How can they get access to it? Yeah, thanks, Bob. So it's it's launched for everyone uh, globally. So um, whether they're a member, a non-member, whether it's an organization, uh, a government department, Whoever it is, they can reach out to us and we can talk them through the platform as we've done here. Uh, and it is available to everyone. It, it comes as a full library in, in the VLEX platform. And it, uh, hopefully, as, as we've seen it, it will make it really easy to, to search and browse the collection of books that, that, that are now online. Great. Uh, anything else you'd like to say before we wrap up here today? Um, from my end, just, just a thank you for having us. And I, and I hope Absolutely. Enjoyed, thank you very much, Bob. I hope everyone's... Okay enjoyed watching the the antitrust content of course all right well thanks again to tom atkinson and robin chesterman of vlex that's it for this episode of how it works you can find the full series at lawnext.com thanks for watching